Okay, so today is Saturday, and Monday will be uh, the sixth Monday. Um, so six weeks since I first started going to the gym. I go six days a week because um, of where I'm at and the fact that I give it my all every time I go. It's kind of hard when I miss a day because it's not like I can go in there and say, okay, today I'm going to work doubly hard to make up for the days that I missed because of the simple fact that I have nothing left to give. Um, I am going to watch my calories a lot more now. Um, I've been a little lenient and um, not as strict as I should be. And like I've mentioned before, I am trying to live a 1500 calorie lifestyle. I'm going to explain later in my next vlog about um, the calories and where I got the information that I'm going by and how that works. Um, so look forward to that in my next vlog. Um, I just wanted to update you um, where I stand today and uh, I do. I, I feel like I, I've made an improvement. I really do, honestly. Uh, my pants are fitting a lot better than they were and um, I feel better and I can feel it when I'm on the death machine especially um, I don't give out as quickly as I, I was in the beginning and uh, I jump roped yesterday which was pretty awesome because I haven't jump roped in a while and um, yeah so um, quickly I'm going to run you through the, my routine and I have some um, videos to show of what that looks like so um, right now, before you even go there, uh, this channel is hate-free. Um, this is a place for me to express my feelings, to be honest, and to hopefully help others who are struggling um, to live a healthy lifestyle in today's, today's culture. Um, it's hard, especially if um, you have a job or children or um, you're going to school. I mean, it's so easy to stop at McDonald's and grab, you know, this or that. It's so easy to stop at Burger King. And I'm not saying those places are bad, but it is so easy to just grab and not even think about what you're putting in your body. Um, step one, um, my tip um, for this vlog, I'm going to try to include um, a healthy lifestyle tip with each vlog, um, is the first step, no pop cut out all your soda pop and drink water now for me what I did um, when I first started uh, deciding to live a healthier lifestyle is uh, I decided to drink juice instead of pop now for me juice made me more thirsty and I was drinking um, two big bottles a day and uh, Come to find out, I was actually putting more calories on with the juice than I was with the pop. And it did have vitamins in it, and you could justify it that way, but I actually gained weight with the juice. So I'm not saying don't drink juice. I'm saying drink it in moderation, um, but just cut the pop out. You've got to just, you've got to say, hey, I'm going to cut the pop out because um, it's empty calories, and it tastes good. And there for a while, the only water I was getting every day was carbonated water, was from my pop. And um, you're putting sugar and fat and calories into you that you, you just don't need. You, you don't need it and you really don't want it. Um, so I'm not saying you can never drink pop again. I'm not saying that. You know, one pop here and there, if it fits into your lifestyle, that's fine. But I'm saying right now, if you're where I am, if you're where you are, where you're, you're tired of living the life that you're living and you want to change, I'm saying no more pop replace it with water and if you're like me water seems gross um, I hate I hate tap water I won't drink it I'd probably dry up and die <laughs> before I drink the tap um, I don't know I, I've been pretty thirsty and haven't broke down and done it I've dug up pennies to go get me a bottle of water but I suggest bottled water um, get you some good bottled water uh, it doesn't go bad it tastes good um, just room temperature uh, especially when you're really hot when I'm really exercising the cold it takes my breath away and it seems to make this phlegm build up inside me um, in my chest and harder for me to breathe so I like it room temperature 
Um, but definitely get you some bottled water and just drink it. And um, they say that when you're hungry, nine times out of ten, you're really thirsty. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard. And I kind of believe it. And they say if you drink um, water before you eat, you won't be as hungry. Since I'm an emotional eater and a lot of my eating is psychological, I don't know how true that is. But, um, you know, they probably know more about it than I do. And uh, so, just cut out the pop. No more pop. Say it with me. No more pop. 